Wowee! Whoa. It's another droppy wow. stream! Wow! wow. <laughs> Killing it as usual. Looking great. It's always at the perfect angle. <laughs> <laughs> Always perfect, <laughs> never a problem. Yeah. Hey, it's our stream anniversary. Oh, Apparently, wow. Happy partner anniversary. Partner anniversary. Remember all those bonus streams we did just to get partner? We did. We had the partner rush. I guess it was <laughs> what four years ago now. Yeah. Wow. That wow. We did the partner rush. <laughs> that was not quite four yet. Uh, well, it was the partner anniversary, so it must have been. Um, no. Boo -boo 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 -boo. Boo -boo 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 Factually incorrect, but keep Boo -boo 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 doing that. <laughs> That's all I hear. That's all I can hear. Something's wrong with me. <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot uh -oh. you have misogyny. <laughs> I hear it from Nathan, too, though. Yeah. How's everybody doing? We're going to draw some images some pictures images we're going to produce some lines and shapes that you can interpret as um representation of forms mm -hmm. representation of forms we love doing that mm -hmm. and characters and as per usual and i intend to start with a concept. mug concepts we might draw some concepts tonight we're gonna see where it goes the the line that the announcers at the big game said the yeah. other night that I took away, they mentioned layering of concepts, and Ooh, that really la who's Larry of concepts? L Larry of concepts. <laughs> Larry of concept. <laughs> Larry the concept guy. Hey everyone, <laughs> it's me, Larry from concept. <laughs> Did it sound like I said Larry um, of concepts? I just got some stuff I want you to think about today, so I'm gonna present you with some concepts. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Concepts. How do you feel about this one? The concept of time. Okay, okay. How do you feel about that one? I'd give it a four out of ten. Okay. How about the concept of zero? <laughs> concept of zero. I'd give it a four out of ten. Not a zero out of ten. Why would I give it that? I don't know. That doesn't really help <laughs> express the way I feel about it. Honestly, it sounds like if I did that, I'd be being purposefully obtuse, which I never am. Never. No, only obtuse accidentally. Mm-hmm. All the time. Never on purpose. I have no <laughs> control over my actions or agency. Me either. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Ooh. This, this mug's is, giving a look. Yeah, he's thinking about concepts. Thinking for about sure. some concepts. This is my concept thinking face. I tweeted. Oh, Yay. a tweet! Did you put super nut in it? No. Wow. I Can't. put I put a gift that made me laugh. No one respects it, me. <laughs> <laughs> I love this gift. Yeah, it's it was really getting me. Let me see it. All right, that's a pretty good one. Oh, Can I, I see it? no, don't show it to Nathan. Oh. Well, he said Just I kidding. was gonna show it, Just but kidding, I can't now. No, I'm replying. No, I actually want Nathan to see it really bad. Aww. This kind of looks like um, like Mr. Burns. I was about to say, very <laughs> Mr. Burns. Oh. Aside from the nose, like what's Mr. Burns's nose look like? And so like nose. this. Yeah, it's kind of like that, like a vulture, like a bulbous vulture. Tell me this is not a Mr. Burns. Yeah. You need to give him the teeth mug. Some of the teeth showing, and he's going like, excellent. But what, what does his teeth do? They're just sort of little... They're like, like hungry, hungry hippo teeth. Like that? Yeah. You don't need to give him that. And then he's got like the little hands. Yeah, he's got his little hands. And he's like, oh. It's... They're always twiddling. Oh, I'm up to I'm up to something, aren't I? Indestructible. I was also thinking the indestructible clip. I was also thinking he spelled deal. Uh, he spelled deal with a six. Release <laughs> 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 the hounds. <laughs> what do you think about this, everyone? I'd give it a four out of ten. Come on! <laughs> like, he looks like he's doing like that. I had to do it to him. Yeah. yeah, he did have to do it to him. It being... Here's my reply. What's your reply? You should look. 
Oh. <laughs> 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 Nathan's very easily scared today. Let me see it. Oh my god, just pull it Shut up. up. You got it on my it's phone right now. I already locked my phone. See, it's off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. Um, I, will, I will now perform for you a drawing. Why does he have nipples? He has his shirt off. Hey, oh. Jacob, yeah. someone replied with this. Super Nut! Super Nut in the replies! <laughs> oh! <laughs> a reply guy who only replies with the Super Nut gif. That's gonna be me. That's the guy I wanna be. The next emote we're gonna have is the Luigi say. Super Nut. We, we've said that three weeks in a row and no progress has been made. <laughs> we're, well, we're, Yay! We're working up to it. We're gonna get there. Um, thank you also, Carolyn, for the raid. You raided while we were in the intro song, but I appreciate it. Wow. Even now, I appreciate it. Even now. Even now. Even today. Wow. Please draw Courage Gijinka. I'll Ooh. draw Keurig Keurig. <laughs> Keurig Gijinka. <laughs> Keurig Gijinka. <laughs> sort of a, a scared, pathetic human. Yeah, a scared, pathetic guy. But also, he hymns a hero when he needs to be. Stupid man, you make me look bad. Stupid man. Him's a hero when he needs to be. When he needs to be. But he doesn't like it. Courage dog. He Cour hates it the, <laughs> the entire time. Courage. Um, I saw somebody asked if I did the, the theme song. I did do the theme song. All right, you're activated. Keep talking. Let her play. No one look at me. So I have all that shit there. She's so she disrupting can... my flow state. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to draw courage chicken now? I'm going to put more shit there just to continue <laughs> disrupting your flow my, state. How am I supposed to flow? <laughs> Get better at it. Jeez. Flow is actually from progressive, not all state. Ah! I'm getting pissed off. <laughs> I'm getting pissed off and ticked off. You need some chocolate? I smashed it with a hammer. I don't want chocolate. Julia, okay. stop making those noises. <laughs> Why are you being mean? <laughs> Did I say any noises when you were slurping your coffee this morning? I don't think so. Wow. You did some coffee slurps? When you were chewing slurps? the chips last night. Oh my gosh, you chewed the chips. With chips. Chewing the chips. You chewed the chips? With you your mouth open? You chopped and chewed the chips? I chewed the chips in a completely normal fashion. You need to leave. I didn't chew the chips with my mouth open. You chewed the chips with your mouth open. <laughs> well, we well, we was eating the guac and the salsa. Oh, the the salsa. yeah. You're disgusting. To get all the dips in your mouth, you got to <laughs> open it sometimes. Um, I just wanted to be known. Julia has an irrational <laughs> sort of um, aversion to any and all mouth sounds. It's impossible yeah. for any living human to not make any of the mouth sounds <laughs> that she doesn't like. It, it, like in the course of normal. I don't think that's irrational. A lot of people have that. I'm saying the level to which she perceives it. No, only if the mouth Honest, is open. Yeah, honestly, I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> It is that bad when I guess I wouldn't know, but like it is that bad. No, it is that bad. <laughs> Listen. Imagine you're me and you're just trying to enjoy your cup of coffee in the morning. I could never and imagine Julia says I was nothing. You. Sometimes you get your hot beverage and the only way to consume it is to is to sort of it, yeah. you know. I don't know how else to do it cuz you're cuz you're cooling it. <laughs> You're cooling it as you're consuming you're aerating it. aerating the coffee as yeah. you drink it. You know, it's another way to aerate and to uh, keep it, uh, to make it cool, um, is to give it time. Jacob drink it outside. <laughs> <laughs> In the snow. He's In trying snow. to aerate, but he's making you irate. Whoa. I just feel like I was... Yeah was making a joking thing at Julia and then she instead came back with some like very real, real life shit. 
and I don't feel like I deserve it. I said that it comeback. jokingly. But I it know it was all it's based on real a joke. Okay, does anyone else shit. have any problems with each other they want to jokingly talk about? I, I would like to apologize. I did a, a pretty bad slurp of my noodles uh, earlier, and I was sitting right next to Julia. Nathan's like a like a eating sounds war criminal. Yeah, <laughs> it's not coming for him. <laughs> Anyway, I love you all. <laughs> I wanted to show Julia this funny cat in this mukbang compilation I was watching. So I just took screenshots of the cat. Yeah. Out yeah. of respect. Out of respect. Thank you. It was a very funny cat. It had a tiny, handsome head and just like the chunkiest body. Ooh. It looked like a chicken drumstick. But a cat. Parentheses fried. I also want to confess that I was playing with the, the clicking thing. Because the second I touched it, I broke it, and so I was trying to fix it. <laughs> and it is fixed. Yeah, it's, it's it's just a little guy. I just removed the magnet from its case by accident. <laughs> uh, but it's back now. <laughs> Everyone relax. Jacob. We're all friends now. We're all happy now. <laughs> we love each other. We eating, all love each other. <laughs> eating sounds war criminal. <laughs> <laughs> really good insult not gonna lie <laughs> i i appreciate that all of you tolerate me as much as you do you're welcome <laughs> you know why it, you know why it is nathan because i love you honestly i just zoned out while i was eating because i was so hungry so oh nice. the boys <laughs> uh-huh that felt nice. That, that did feel I, nice. I enjoyed that actually. Nathan never hugs me like that. He just walks into my apartment and I go, sit down and entertain yourself. <laughs> and then I vacuum around him. <laughs> that is what happened today, yeah. <laughs> it was very fast. <laughs> It's, sometimes it's one of those days where you got a lot going on. I had a lot going on and then Nathan showed up early. Had the nerve. No, that was just chance, but... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all the trains. Nathan walked in and I said, I'm so sorry for the mess. <laughs> and then put away two there cups. There were two cups on a table. And I was like, this is cleaner than my apartment ever is. <laughs> I had it vacuumed and I got crumbs on the floor when I was eating that edible styrofoam. <laughs> And I was like, you can't know I was eating styrofoam. And then Nathan was like, well, now I know. <laughs> and now we've all eaten it. It's good. It's not actually styrofoam. It's it's like. It's it's kind of. Um, did you ever, you ever eating a Cheeto and you wish after the first crunch, it all just sort of melted? Yeah, in it your just mouth? turned into like a air. Cloud. It turned into stardust. It turns into like a suggestion of a food. A ghost. Yeah. If Cheetos had ghosts, if Cheetos died. I had like. That's what it is. Okay, first point um, the more genuine way to describe it would be to say that. It's like one of those packing peanuts that dissolves in water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, and it's cheese flavored. I got it, it on clearance <laughs> at Sunrise Mart. Okay, so shut up. And um, yeah, uh, what else was I gonna say? Oh, I was about to say I can demonstrate on camera for y'all, but we just talked about how much we hate mouth sounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, very, very few mouth sounds with that one. You just That's put true. it in it would there. Be, it would still be one mouth sound. It's a silent and it's a experience. Yeah. You just go. Oh. It feels like a food that someone made disappear as you were biting into it yeah here it's it's like the outside is a like soft cheeto puff but the inside is the texture of cotton candy yeah yeah it's like you get to experience what it might feel like if you were the victim of some sort of curse that <laughs> where made, you can't eat cheeto where, puffs <laughs> where food dissolves <laughs> instantly and becomes nothing have you ever wanted to experience what that would feel like well now you can but What's only it called, though? for cheetos <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs>
it, it was at the Japanese supermarket, and it was on clearance. So I bought it because I like cheesy, puffy snacks. Who doesn't? Me. So um, I, I don't have the bag it came in though. So. I still think about that giant Cheeto you gave us. That's another Japanese. That snack. one. That one was really good. I love those. I also forget the name, but they're pretty easy to find. They have like the silly guy on the wrapper. Individually wrapped. Yeah, just I just hate thick. that they're individually wrapped. Just one thick boy. A lot of the snacks I I get at the Japanese supermarket oh, are geez. individually wrapped, and it just makes me feel awful. For one plastic usage, and two, the fact that I want to eat more than one in one sitting and then I just have like a pile. Yeah, you really name and shame yourself when you yeah, eat those. Yeah, I'm just like, mm. damn. Umaibo, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I prefer to call it the Big Cheeto. The corn stick guy. Yeah, they have different flavors, but I like the cheese one. And they were on sale that one time I bought them. Jacob, this is a really good Courage Kajinko. Yeah, yeah, this is him. Thank you. Excellent. He's scared. <laughs> He's scared of you. He's scared, period. Of you. <laughs> period of you. Of you. We're going we're gonna to give him a, a little black background. It just feels appropriate. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. you do. He's just, He's just been noticed by a monster. A monster. It was a monster mash. <laughs> It was a graveyard smash. <laughs> Don't smash in the graveyard. Where's a better place to smash when you're a monster? Most places, honestly. All the usual places, <laughs> I would assume. Um, did, does Nathan want to draw? I would like to draw. Okay. I'm going to move. I would like to draw. Ooh. I would like to apologize to Jacob for coming at him. <laughs> I would like to apologize to Julia for coming at her. I would like to get a drawing suggestion. And I have nothing to say to any of you people. Should That's fair. I also do an animal character Gajinka. I'd Ooh. like that. That's fun. Should we should we get a theme going? Get to do a Gajinka round? Snoopy. You want to Gajinka round and find out? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey Jacob, can you hand me my cup that's over there? I'll throw it out. Or just I, I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot okay. of Snoopy. I Okay. I don't wanna like call this person out, but it made me laugh so hard. I saw someone in um I even say in, in the Drawfee Patreon Discord. Hey, subscribe to our Patreon. You get access to our Discord where I will read all of your messages and giggle to myself. Because um, someone was trying to remember the word gajinka and put <laughs> on, on <jo> <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, I have to I have to get it verbatim. It was it made so me laugh. it was so good. It's just it's it made me hee hee hoo hoo, it's but incredibly in like charming. in like a char I was like charmed and like not in a I am laughing at you kind of way. Charmed, I just want to make that sure. clear. But they were they were like trying to remember the name of the word and they described it as um it just reminds me of something like Jablinski. Jablinski. <laughs> Jablinski. Which, <laughs> which is, isn't that Jack Black's YouTube channel? <laughs> Jablinski? <Yeah. laughs> Can you draw a Snoopy Jablinski, please? <laughs> but then I also sent that to um, my BFF, Lauren. <laughs> and we were both just kind of like laughing at Jabl <laughs> Jablinski. And at the same time, we both said, Said like Bazinga. <laughs> <laughs> Jablinski. Jablinski, like I see it though. Yeah. yeah. Like I get it. It's the same number of syllables. Yeah. It makes me think of we were watching the Super Bowl. I mean the big game. The big game. The big game. That we were watching the big game. We were watching the big game. And they had a commercial that was like, the emotional final season of Young Sheldon. <laughs> Immediate cut to Young Sheldon standing there just going, Bazinga. <laughs> and I'm like, is that all you have? Do you have it's the final season? At least say Jablinski. <laughs> it's the final season and all you have still is Bazinga? My favorite part about that was the seriousness with which he said Bazinga. Yeah, he says it really seriously. He was like, Bazinga. Bazinga. Yeah. He was like, whoa. You, you get to see, once you watch all of Young Sheldon, 
you can't rewatch the Big Bang Theory because every time he says Bazinga, it's like so emotionally loaded. Because yeah. now you know from Young Sheldon how emotional of a term that mean that is that means. <laughs> do you, do you think he dies at the end of Young Sheldon? I hope so. And then and science the Big brings him back. <laughs> um, it's in an, an alternate a, alternate timeline, <laughs> yeah, splitting yeah. timeline. It's like fan fiction that like Someone's his friend said, wrote about yeah. him. Someone said, "Can we get Young Sheldon fan art?" No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Young Sheldon, <laughs> the final Jablinski, Despicable Me Jablinski. movie, <laughs> Banana, Banana, Banana. <laughs> yeah, it's a really deep voice. The minions get deep voices. Banana, Banana. Well, it explains at the end of the movie why the voice changes. Yeah, and yeah. It's, you'll be ashamed of your words and deeds mm -hmm. of making fun of them saying banana. Young Sheldon hits puberty at the end of Young Sheldon the final thing that happens i'm pretty sure he already hit puberty he comes he out of bed and he's like bazinga <laughs> time to go to high school i'm jim parsons now <laughs> i'm jim parsons now <laughs> i'm gonna win several emmys for my portrayal of adult sheldon, <laughs> adult sheldon. and then after that you're never gonna hear from me again no he's in some weird like tv show thing now about i don't know i think the commercials all the commercials i've seen for it are like i i have months to live that's it that's literally the whole Jim plot Jim parsons has months to live <laughs> it's like him okay? no it's his partner has months to live or whatever and then they're like guess we'll live it out together and Jim that's like the whole parsons. plot I'm gonna tell you, he's 50 years old. What? Oh, he's one of those like. <laughs> what the hell? He's one of those forever baby white boys, isn't he? He is. That's actually crazy. I he's thought he 50? was like. I thought he was like three years older than me. <laughs> I'm 50. Just say mid to late 30s. <laughs> three years older than me. <laughs> I didn't know he was gay. In real life. Don't you feel bad now? Making fun of Bazinga. Yeah, making fun of... <laughs> No, I don't feel that, bad. That is a grown <laughs> gay man. <laughs> and being gay has nothing to do with the He is a grown Bazinga's gay elder. <laughs> Respect your elders. <laughs> There's no way that man is 50. Look, sometimes... Sometimes... Sometimes. Sometimes. Why... White guys are just like babies forever. Yeah. It and, happens. And also, they can't jump. <laughs> That's important to know. Yeah. Jacob knows firsthand. Yeah. He tried to jump once. I was, was in the hospital for was three weeks. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> At least, like, Woody Harrelson definitely can't jump. We know that for sure. Yeah. That was what that movie was about. He proved that he couldn't jump. <laughs> This ain't Snoopy. Yes, it is. I mean, it's it's not. It's it's a it's a gajinka of Snoopy. So it's different. So it's Snoopy. So what you're saying is, is this is Snoopy? It's Snoopy. I'm learning that basically everyone on the Big Bang Theory is in their late forties. Can you imagine? Surprise me. This. Put your imagination towards this. Okay, God entering my brain palace. <laughs> God is entering so my like, brain palace, and I'm going to kick his ass. Starting in 2014, <laughs> okay. like the main cast of The Big Bang Theory was making $1 million per episode. Oh, my God. Bazinga. For each? three seasons. Yeah, each. 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 One million hell? dollars per episode for three seasons. How many episodes are in a season of Big Bang Theory? Is it like anime? Is it 26? 13? I don't know how many. We should I'm, be making Googling. $1 million an episode each. Each. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> that, Support like, our imagine, Patreon. Why don't we make a million dollars per episode of Do you Droppy? guys not like us that much? Do you not like us as much as you like Big Sheldon? Big Bang Theory? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like us better if we were 50 and gay? <laughs> <laughs> we will get there. Give us yeah, time. just just hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm young. <laughs> Give us a few years. We'll get there. Okay, there's like 17 episodes of Big Bang Theory per season. Yeah. Damn. So they made like 17 million dollars each. 
in one year. But that wasn't show. all they made. They also made um one percent of the show's earning total earnings each. On top of that. Damn. That's crazy, man. Every time Sheldon said bazinga, <laughs> someone threw money in his face actively <laughs> and shoved every it down time pants. We kiss. No. <laughs> <laughs> every time Sheldon says bazinga, they threw money at him. <laughs> and every time we kiss, I swear I can fly. Nathan. He's a little off-putting, but it's true. <laughs> I like this Snoopy. I don't know. It's he's not wrong. Some, yeah, he's right. I don't know what to tell you. He he's looks like correct. a fucking Tito. He looks like he's heard some juicy <laughs> goss that he's walked past and is yeah. like, oh, wait a minute. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? A little <laughs> hot goss. you hearing this? <laughs> I won't tell anyone, or will I? I'm going to go pretend to be Why the Red is Baron. Why he so fucking Tito-shaped, though? That's just Snoopy. <laughs> Snoopy was Tito shaped the whole time. The whole time. He looks like he's about to like <laughs> be useless at the gathering. <laughs> <laughs> the gathering. <laughs> useless at the gathering is the new panic at the disco. <laughs> <laughs> useless. That's a band I can really do. <laughs> um, Tito Snoopy is such a cute name, though. If someone's about to become a Tito, make, lock it in that your name is Tito Snoopy. I love that. <laughs> Have all the kids call you that. <laughs> and then like spray paint this image on your car. <laughs> I feel like that's where it belongs. <laughs> I love Tito Snoopy. He's very charming. Oh, no. He's been taken out. <laughs> they put him in a dark room. <laughs> where's, the, where's the hole? By the foot. Much like Achilles. <laughs> Damn, so true. It's ready. Yeah. No, the spot. <laughs> He's in your yard. <laughs> this is, it's shot reverse shot. The party. <laughs> 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 the party ended hours ago and bro is still here. <laughs> Standing there like this. <laughs> My friends are messaging in the Discord. They're about to play Helldivers 2 and I can't no, play because I'm on. here streaming. Wow. Okay, what about this though? Because his ears do like a little droop. What if his hair does... Oh, he's got the long in the back. What if it's a little long in the back? Nothing up top. Now he's still a Tito, but like a younger cousin Tito. Is that okay? Yes. He kind of looks like um, Mario Lopez now. Is that who I'm thinking of? Yeah. I don't think. If I he, don't know. More, I don't know. If he had like. Yeah, yeah. If he were. Yeah, he bald. looks like Mario Lopez. In the he... face. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he just put some dookie on his head. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Mario Lopez balding. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It was like this. Ansta agreed with me. You're I not just wrong. I want to know that. That's Mario Lopez, dude. This. Toe to tips. Tito Snoopy. That's yeah. Tito Snoopy. Um, <laughs> yeah, what are you going to say? What do you have to say for yourself? Need some bushes. <laughs> Why is he in my yard? <laughs> <laughs> Go home. <laughs> uh, who's rating us? A Fox and Space show is rating with a party of 103. Welcome. Dang. Welcome in. This the is Tito. Snoopy as a adult Filipino <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> he is in the yard. It's one of those like motion activated light <laughs> yeah. just comes on. And he's standing there like this. Like, am I too late for the barbecue or <laughs> notice none of the food is out. <laughs> <laughs> you told me to show up at six, so I showed up at eleven PM. It's okay. I Was brought... that <laughs> Is that not right? I brought my own sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I like this character that we've 
come up with. I like him too. <laughs> I find him charming and inviting. Yeah. <laughs> you see this in your ring camera. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? All right, I'm done. <laughs> Great job, Nathan. <laughs> What if Karina draws now? What if? Can you imagine? I'm going to imagine it. Okay, imagine really hard. It just may come true. Ooh, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I, th I think it's happening. What good Jinka should Karina draw? <laughs> doggy daddy good Jinka. Doggy 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 daddy. What was the whole thing we said with Augie doggy? Augie doggy Dilf 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 attorney. attorney. Auggie doggy dilf attorney. Auggie doggy. That was the stream where Nathan wasn't there. And, and he, he called he had in. To, he had to call in because of Auggie doggy dilf attorney. I had just gotten back from a flight and you weren't <laughs> going to make me stream, but you were having too much fun saying silly stuff and I wanted to get in on that. Someone said Pika Lagoshi. You summoned me. There is like canon Lago human Lagoshi. Jonah? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like a human man in real life. Uh, yeah, but he's also Lagoshi. But he's also Lagoshi. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I actually like that. Yeah. That looks he's cute. I'm yeah. guessing that was drawn by Itagaki. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did you guys see that it was Wonderfest this week? And What's Wonderfest? Where they announce all the fucking anime figurines, so of course. Oh. I was looking at it um on uh while I was doing my weekly video chat with my friends. <laughs> Legoshi Chukajinka. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Legoshi but different. Um and so we were just like scrolling through the like Twitter tag for Wonderfest and just looking at all the like announcements it's all like good smile stuff and i was about to um say something because they had announced a nendoroid for the manga black cat you remember that one i do yeah and i was just like black cats getting a <laughs> nendoroid like I'm, now <laughs> i'm sorry i didn't realize that In was this economy <laughs> yeah they're like Funko Pops at this point. But as I was like starting to talk about this, I scrolled down and saw that they announced a Lagoshi Nendoroid. And I was like so surprised that I like gagged out loud <laughs> mid sentence. <laughs> and all my friends laughed at me. <laughs> I mean, I think that's correct of them. But to also, do. you have to understand that like um, the, the art they used for it was like really funny. Oh, he, why does he look so sad? <laughs> he has a profound sadness and a big forehead. Oh, my God. His head yeah. is so big. He, he kind of <laughs> looks like one of those chihuahuas with like, he the looks tennis like ball head. He looks like a chihuahua. And my <laughs> reaction was, why is your forehead so big, King? To cover in little kisses? Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> That's kissing real estate right there. Yeah, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and Ans just said he looked like he ate a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's going to have some bad poops, y'all. <laughs> Here's a question okay. that I thought of when you said he ate a roll of toilet paper. Are you going to eat a roll of my toilet paper? Because you, you're welcome to, just yeah. pay me back. My question is, can I eat a roll of your toilet paper? <laughs> well, the answer is you're welcome to, but you have to pay me back. No, I'm not going to pay you back, and I'm also not going to eat a roll of toilet paper. Roll of toilet paper. Roll of toilet paper. <laughs> I'm going to ask a, a question. On this, the roll of toilet paper. The roll of toilet paper. We're going to do a thought experiment. Ooh. Oh, yay. yay. Oh, let's go. All right. Imagine. I'm ready to think. <laughs> if you could. Wait, I need to get comfy. Okay. Yeah, get comfy. It's important. Okay. Imagining if I could, already a stretch. Yeah. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Oh, I got a, God. a pillow behind my head. Make yeah. sure I'm okay. If, yeah. If you could eat 
one roll, roll of <laughs> toilet paper. Would you? <laughs> um, that yes. has thought experience over. Okay. That one no, there's was... more. There's more. What do you mean there's more? Okay. I didn't you even get to say it. If you could okay. eat, if you could eat one... <laughs> <laughs> Roll of toilet paper. If you could eat, yeah, yeah, one <laughs> two, dozen, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're all synced, ready to record. Okay, yes. everybody clap, Can you clap. <laughs> uh, Jacob's on a big leg. Jacob's okay, we'll fix big leg. that. We gotta give the space. If you could eat one, one <laughs> inedible object. Uh-huh. So like anything that's inedible, but for you only, it, yeah. it is edible now. Yeah. What would it be? What would be the thing you'd want to eat that is currently inedible, but now you can eat it? Didn't someone just ask us that? What? Glass. Someone asked us that? Brick. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see that. It's in, <laughs> uh, it's in Ask the Hosts on the Discord. <laughs> I haven't well, we're, checked. We're answering it here. Damn, we just, you know, thinking along parallel lines here. <sighs> we'll answer it here. Okay. One inanimate object that is for, Is it for food. life? Yeah, it's for life. Anytime and it's like, I see that object, I can eat it. <laughs> and I want you to base it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want you to base it not on like and every time I just touch just it. just just shut everybody just shut up everybody just shut up don't base it on like practicality or like gaming the system mm -hmm. to like maximize your you know I already your answered. input base it on what just the thing you'd want to eat. Mm -hmm. Someone in chat said grapes. Close. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's edible. <laughs> grapes. <laughs> Somebody said the bean, like the Chicago bean. <laughs> oh my god, that's a good answer. A What's good the answer. bean made out of? Uh, it's made out of like looks like it's made out of mercury. <laughs> but probably it's not. Tungsten? Is it made of tungsten? Stainless wait, no, that's the bean, the bean, the bean, the bean, <laughs> the, bean, the, the, bean, bean the, the bean, the bean, the bean, the bean, stainless the steel. Bean. So that's my answer. Okay. I want to eat stainless steel, please. Okay. Stainless steel. Why not? That's a lot of things you can eat. I feel like that's a yeah. You know, a good answer. It my, is a good answer. My answer is, me. is cars. Cars. I would love to be able to just take a bite out of a car. <laughs> when when would you use this? What's the circumstance? Anytime a car is like <laughs> encroaching <laughs> on the crosswalk, when a car does this thing where it pulls all the way into the crosswalk <laughs> and then just stops there, when I, when I have the right of way, right. I'm just going to take a little nibble. You would just walk up and go, Ow. just one little, just like, Ow. not enough to make the car unusable. Yeah. But, I, you know, like a little chunk out of the rear view mirror. That's going to fuck with them if they see you do that. Mirror. Yeah. Yeah. And I like to imagine this power grants you the ability to take like, just like a cartoon style bite yes. out of it. Like, yeah, 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 whole. Yeah. My mouth gets really big when I do yeah. it. And I go, yeah. Ow. <laughs> and it just leaves like a blip, 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 yeah. blip. I have two answers. Okay. Um, my not fun answer for me is Korean food. I thought you were about to say Karina. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's not fun. That's not fun. Don't eat me. I'm too edible. <laughs> also, Korean food is edible. Yeah, but not I can't. To not to not Julia. To me. She has well, poor it, spice it tolerance. It is edible. It just hurts your tummy. It does hurt my tummy a lot. But I do get that you wish you could yeah, eat it. Because yeah, yeah. it looks so good. I can't it, eat it. It is, it is good. It yeah, makes, it's it delicious. Good. <laughs> it makes my tummy feel really bad. Um, My, my fun answer, and I'm going to give a tryptophobia warning before anyone Googles this thing. It's called the Devil Tooth Mushroom. Ooh. Is that looks, one of them oozy ones? It's, it looks like a jelly-filled donut of a mushroom. 
and that and you want to be able to eat that it looks so good it, it looks, looks like, like it's filled with jam it. do you want to see i have it up on my phone <laughs> well, we got another raid <laughs> mel the honeybee raided with a party of 28 wow hello everyone welcome in to the stream yeah. yeah thank you so much for the raid do you want to see it jacob i do i want to oh i see what you mean yeah I yeah. want to catch up the raiders here. Okay. We're we're doing a thought experiment. Yeah. <laughs> if you had the power to eat one one type of inedible object, wh which would you want to eat? Nathan said, "Like cars, cars." Like you want to be able to, and, you, and the thing you eat, you can take like a cartoonish bite out of it. Yeah, I yeah. said stainless steel, so I can take yeah, a cartoonish said stainless bite steel. out of the Chicago bean. Yep, and the Chicago bean was one of the answers. Julia wants to eat a fucked up mushroom. Yeah, that's that's very toxic. I feel like I saw some good ones in chat. I saw deodorant. Oh yeah, I totally get that. Like, I feel the, like that would feel bad on my teeth. The blue kind though looks like mm, you want to eat it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The blue gel kind. I also marbles is a really good one because there's lots of Just pretty like marbles. Mess. There is like a squishy jelly that is living in my brain that I can't. I can't remember what <laughs> it is, but every I time I eat. saw it, I do want to <laughs> eat it. Uh, also, I'm thinking about that deodorant that's like the little holes, and you turn it, and like the little, it like. Oh, oh yeah. yeah like comes out like forbidden pasta. Yeah, yeah. like forbidden pasta. <laughs> I'd lick that right up. That's a good one. If I could. Candles is another one. Oh bags. yeah, candles yeah. is good. Y'all got to start picking bigger food groups. Than cars and candles. Yeah, you mean like that such... covers more. Yeah, because Karina, yeah. Karina picked just the material stainless steel. So anything yeah. that's made of stainless steel. Well, my initial steel. answer was also glass and brick. Okay, yeah. I just like the idea of like sucking on a brick, like a like a jawbreaker. Oh yeah, <laughs> like put it in your mouth, like Ed Ed and Eddie, it, like makes uh -huh. your cheek huge. Um, the last time Barrett was here, we were talking about cereal, and I was just like, honestly, I really love grape nuts. Because I like grew up eating them, mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's just like, "Ew, grape nuts!" Ugh. And I was just like, "What? Have you never like wanted to just chew on aquarium gravel? This is the closest thing I have." <laughs> and Bro did not relate. <laughs> I am I relate. Good, yeah. Bro did not relate at all. <laughs> I totally relate. Aquarium oh, someone, gravel is good. Someone said thermal paste. Thermal paste does look like icing. Yeah. Yeah, I would eat some thermal paste. Vinyl records. I don't want to eat the vinyl record because that makes it useless. <laughs> I can't like, listen to it they're anymore. They're like big chips, though. They are like big <laughs> chips. You dip a vinyl record into thermal paste. <laughs> it's like an Oreo. <laughs> Oh, I bet that would be good. I bet it would taste like, like a the, freaking um, Dunkaroo. I was going to say it's going to taste like Dunkaroos. Yeah. Damn. That Dunkaroo icing has such a specific taste to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can taste it in my mouth right now. I liked the, the vanilla sprinkle kind with the cinnamon cookies. That was oh, my yeah. Combo. I rarely got to eat those as a kid, so I'm just mystified by them. It was just chefs I have for you presented a deconstructed Oreo. But they were extra, built different. Extra icing. Yeah, we pretty just much. added more sugar to everything. Here's my question. If mm -hmm. you knew you had like five minutes left on the planet and that item that you wish you could eat was in front of you, would you actually eat it? No. But, I, but well, I couldn't actually eat it, though. Yeah, it would be really painful, I think, in most yeah. scenarios. But like, no. I think if I knew I was going to die, I probably still wouldn't eat glass. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that would be a fun <laughs> way to spend my I last would, five minutes. I would think about <laughs> it. Fair. Maybe if you timed it, and I just died mid-bite, <laughs> <laughs> and then it was someone else's problem. I want to clarify, too, Okay. that when you eat this thing, it, it tastes like what you think it should taste like, based on how it looks. Okay. So, like, if you ate the deodorant, it's going to taste like what you think blue deodorant should taste like. Like an ice pop blue. Which, like yeah, kind of like an ice, blue an ice pop. Like a blue ice pop. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I think it'd be fun to eat dry ice. I like that one. Oh, yeah. Because then you'd have steam coming out of your mouth. Or like, <laughs> we smoke. get it. You vape. Yeah, you'd be like constantly vaping from inside. 
Well. <laughs> Built in vape. I'm really liking how you're doing this Lagoshi Gajinka, by the way. It's a cute design. I really like the design. It's the type of design that would be my favorite character if he were a character in something. He's very... <laughs> Tired. He's, he's very Timothy Schmave coded. <laughs> <clears throat> Not affectionate. Oh. <laughs> Damn, where's the affection? <laughs> Why are his eyes so big? All the better to see you with. Yeah. Obviously. He's a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> the stares at you like this <laughs> with my big, beautiful eyes. <laughs> Parentheses, I am Lagoshi. <laughs> Here, I'll write that out for you, chat. <laughs> Likes this. Likes this. Likes this. <laughs> I likes this. I likes this. I likes this. I can't read this keyboard. Why can't you read it? Because it's a different font than my usual keyboard. It's Gundam font. It's still letters. But I'm fucking illiterate. Leave me alone. Stop yelling <laughs> at me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there. There you, you go. You see the vision, chat? Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing a vision of Lagoshi taking me in his arms. Hey, calm down. I'm so calm. I'm in Lagoshi's arms. <laughs> I'm more calm than I've ever been. Yeah, he's also like six foot five. Yeah. It's a big boy. <laughs> oh, that? Big boy. That's a big buy. This is the big, big boy. Buy. Oh, to be a big buy. You know what's? Here's something to think about. Okay. 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 Wait. I'm getting comfy. thought experiment. Hold on. Okay. Think about or just regular. Okay. Think about. Regular think about. Just a regular oh. think. I guess it's kind of a thought experiment. It depends on how far you want to go with it. Okay. I'm ready. I was just thinking. You're thinking. I thought I was thinking. You can think too. Yeah, we'll, who's we'll thinking think. here? It's an invitation. Yeah, it's an invitation to have to a think. group think. Okay. Well, I'm I'm six feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> we know at what the I, present moment. What am I dealing with that? And I was wondering, like, if a uh, a wizard came in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And the wizard was like, "I have the power to make you." Six five or something Ooh. like that. Like, be a real tall boy. Yeah, uh -huh. and it's like you know, no harm to me. It's like the wizard snaps his his gnarled fingers, mm -hmm. and I'm immediately six five. Like, do I? Would I take him up on that? Because like there's a lot of cool benefits, right, to being six five, but also there's a lot of downsides. Yeah, it depends how how high are your ceilings in your home. First question. Traveling would be annoying. Traveling is a little bit trickier now. Yeah, Airplane traveling is worse. Bad. Being friends with me would be annoying. <laughs> what, what, do you, what would you do? I'd give you a hard time about it. Well, I can't even hear. I wouldn't even be able to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> you tell yourself that, but I'm really annoying. <laughs> Someone in chat just said literally zero benefits. <laughs> you could run for president. You have to be 6'5 to run for president. <laughs> tallest, you must be this tall. You gotta be tall to be in politics. Yeah. That's so. why what's his face gets boosted boots or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> no, I would not want to be 6'5. I like if anything, I want to be shorter. I want to be a little guy. So you think you're too big. Yeah. To take a couple inches off. I'd like to take up less space. How little we talking? How small will you go? If the wizard is here, Nathan. The wizard's here. And, yeah, he, the and he has the capability to change your height. And it's a one-way one ticket. It's a one-way one ticket. Done. He snaps his fingers and he's gone. You never see him again. And your height has changed. And, and why was he here in the first place? Any wizard again. Because he gets off on this shit. He's a freak. I would go been deep in her too much to answer that question now. I would go five 
seven. Okay. So like me and Karina, basically. Yeah. yeah. I would love it if you were all the exact same. Height. Yeah. <laughs> and then you were six five. <laughs> and then I was six five. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah. What if it's like a law of extra- equivalent exchange? He has to like take some inches from some people to give yeah, to, to others. Give to others. So yeah. I, I'd be a, I'd be a donor. I'm like in the hospital bed, and they're like, "Who do you think gave you those inches?" <laughs> It's a different kind of leg lengthening surgery. What about what about you, Julia? Would you do any height changes? Okay, it depends. You know how when you go to adjust something in Photoshop? Yeah. When you when you go to scale. Yeah. And you have and you have the 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 link turned off so you can skew it, right? Uh huh. Am I grabbing at the corner or am I grabbing at the top? Oh yeah, are you getting stretched or are you getting proportionally sized up? You would you would be like a a a version of you proportional to the height that you now are. So no one would look at you and be like, "That's a stretched out motherfucker." They would be like, "That's a normal person at that height." So corner. I guess corner. What used to be holding shift, but now is not holding shift unless you switch to legacy settings. Yes. If it's corner, no. If it's top, yes. So you want to be. You want to be a stretched you, you out. You want to stretch. You want to stretch out. You wish you were stretched more. If you, you did like a distort. You want to be distorted long. <laughs> If you like stretched like my noodle? legs, if you stretch, if you stretch all of me except for my head, then yeah. Sort of a, a tall, wait, wait. a tall, <laughs> slen- a Slenderman, Julia. Yeah. Yeah, you want to be like Slenderman. Yeah. I mean, you do. Yeah, you wear wear a pinstripe suit. The wizard be- laughed halfway through you talking about what you wanted. <laughs> the wizard hated that. You got too specific for the wizard. The wizard made you an offer, and you started you started getting in the weeds, and so yeah, he yeah, you started making orders. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just a chill five seven, chill five seven, just hanging out. I would only change my height if I were to donate my height to Spencer. Oh, I, I would love that. Yeah. So you would give up more height to give Spencer more height? Yeah, that's beautiful. How but- small would you go? <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah, the lower, the lower bound of how many inches you would give? I don't... Look. One inch. We could be the same height. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> you and Spencer? Yeah. So we fun? have to find the middle point between your two it's heights. It's really so not that high. It's three just foot one. one. It's just one. <laughs> so you're, you're like losing half an inch and he's gaining half an inch? No, it's... We have a two inch difference. Oh, so oh a two you're inch difference. losing one, he's okay. gaining... Wait. Yeah. 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 Y'all can't do math. <laughs> yeah. I thought you I did thought you hadn't done the math yet, but you had already done the math. Yeah, cuz I'm a genius. You're making me think of that song that the Brian Jordan Alvarez did in character where it's he sings about being 57 but his wife thinks he's 59. I don't know this song. It that's it. those are the lyrics. It's, I'm I am five know. seven, but my wife thinks I'm five nine. That's all the lyrics. There's more to it. It's a short song. <laughs> I don't understand this. She doesn't reference. know the mathematic, and sometimes she can be dramatic. So I lie. <laughs> <laughs> that's I almost said that's beautiful, but it's really not. I don't I'm approve of this done. kind of deception. It's I me. think I'm done. Me. I love this Lugoshi. There you go. And I want him to love me. <laughs> With his big, beautiful eyes. Yeah. (laughs) If we could... The wizard appears. Okay. Okay. Oh, so you're back. (laughs) I thought you left. Can I be the wizard? Yeah. All right, wizard. um, Wait, let's let's get a drawing suggestion for Julia. Corner, will you... Will it... Do Wait, I go before I answer your question? Get a I drawing get, suggestion, or do I get like that? And which then one? I will, whichever one you want. This I'm one. a wizard. I can yes, I will stretch you right out. Thank you. Like taffy. Thank you. 
The human body, from a magical standpoint, is a lot like taffy. Wizard's always saying stuff I, like this. I, <laughs> the wizard is always saying that. People don't like it when I say it. <laughs> I don't I, like it. But I do say it anyway, because I'm a wizard. What can they do? I feel like you have to draw a Gijinka, Julia. Okay. Yeah, you gotta. We all did it, so now you gotta. Scooby? Scooby? I have seen a few Scooby. What would Scooby be like? Scooby? Scooby? All right, what would I'll Scooby, Scooby do? He'd be like a, a big, goofy guy. Goofy? Are you going to look at reference when you do this? No. Okay. So this is, a, so this a, is just going to be a from, man. From memory, He's going to be a normal man. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going to have the lip. Okay. Okay, here's the wizard's question. Here's my question. He offers to take and give from all four of our heights the amount that it would require to make us all the exact same height. I can make you all the exact <laughs> same height. Yeah, that's what Jacob does. Do, do would would we take that? Do we think we all want to be the exact same height? <laughs> yeah, I think on trophy. I think that'd be fun. Jacob, what's your answer? You're losing the most height. That's true. I am, but I'd be losing a little. But I already am cool with that. Yeah, none of us would be losing that much. Yeah, or gaining that much. Rena and Julia would be a little taller. I'd be a little shorter. You'd be even more shorter. Yeah proportionally but then we could all stand next to then each we could other all stand and, next to each other and we could put like a plank like over weezer? our heads like, like weezer, weezer. <laughs> weezer's not all the same height <laughs> they stand next to each other rivers, they rivers rejected Cuomo the wizard tiny compared to everyone else yeah the wizard yeah. came to them and they were gonna all become the same height but then Maybe rivers rivers up. cuomo pulled the wizard aside and he was like take more from take me more from me I don't need it. I don't want it. Take more from me. Give it to them. The wizard. <laughs> the wizard. <laughs> wizard. Eat me on my zard until I'm the same height as everyone else. <laughs> Are you eating chocolate bucky with chopsticks? Yeah, he's sticky. He looks sticky. He looks like poop. <laughs> <laughs> Weezard is what happens when you combine Charizard and Weezing in the Pokemon mashup. Yeah. Game. Yeah. In infinite fusion. Fusion. Julia, I think you're on the right track with yeah, this. Yeah, this is This is like actually correct. Yeah. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Is there a canon Scooby Doo Gajinka? Oh, yeah, I feel like that must have happened at some point. Like Shrek. Like Shrek. Like Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> they Gajinka to him right in the second movie. They couldn't waste any more time. If I showed this to my niece, do you think she would know who it was? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Velma. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she would. You, you'd well, you'd tell her it was Scooby, and she'd go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want the rest of the poop chocolate. I don't want the poop. No, chocolate. good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a problem. I can't eat this on camera. <laughs> go. I'll be right back. Go on, eat the poop chocolate. You wanted it. No one deserves to see it. <laughs> if a wizard... <laughs> now what? ...made Scooby-Doo into a human man like this, mm -hmm. and then you made love to this man... <laughs> what, what happens? Okay, what? first of all, I would Is wouldn't. that okay? First Is of that all, that's okay? not how that works. What do you mean it's not how that Google. works? Google, human Scooby-Doo. Um, was that a command? No, I'm doing it. I just thought I'd say it out loud in case someone had like their, what is it, like their Alexa. Did I know he used to be a dog? No, you don't know. All you'd know is you met this man <laughs> and you fell in love. <laughs> okay, yeah, there is a human Scooby-Doo. According to the Scoobypedia, this is Scooby-Doo parentheses human. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yours is kind of a yassified version. Yeah, yours yeah, is not cuter. Far off. <laughs> yours is much cuter than That's that. That's wild. One. <laughs> 
Wow. Well, it's already been done, so now I feel like I have to do it. No, I like yours. Yeah, this is better. Wait, let me see. How was the poop chocolate? It was delicious. It was caramel. Yeah. And I'm I'm glad I chose to do that off camera. Oh. Oh, I don't. The half lids are not my fave. He's just stoned. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's true. So, Julia, you can't draw Scooby Doo from memory. No. But you can draw a perfect <laughs> Scooby Doo Gijinka. Yeah, that's really good. Without looking at Scooby Doo. That's... What does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> I do like this Reddit post on our Scooby Doo that says, Does anyone like human Scooby Doo? And all the answers are no. <laughs> There's one answer that says, Drugs are bad. <laughs> really good. If That's this awesome. were human Scooby Doo, people would like him. Yeah. This human Scooby Doo looks like he plays football. Yeah, people would want to fuck this His human Scooby Doo. His neck is so strong. Yeah, strong yeah. neck. Why is he so strong necked? I feel like he's got a big birthmark. For eating big <gasps> sandwiches. <laughs> he has a huge throat. <laughs> yeah, have you seen the sandwiches that they put down? <laughs> should I draw, like, a? should we test this theory? Should I draw another character from memory that I can't draw from memory but as a human? Arthur. Arthur. Bobby Hill. <laughs> Bobby Hill. <laughs> Draw him as a man. <laughs> Arthur. 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 What the hell does Arthur look like? Every day when you're walking down the street. And all the people that you meet. That's an original point of view. Everybody people that you meet. <laughs> Got original mind. It's a salad fingers. Yeah, so it is. <laughs> I regret to inform you. It's going to be Dilbert. <laughs> no, no, it is. No, bad, it bad, is. bad. Spray bottle. Are they 50 and gay and dating? <laughs> I think yes. This is, Zynga. this is 50 year old Scooby and Arthur Gijinka who are gay and dating. And <laughs> Two truths and a lie. <laughs> and it's, it's getting serious. It's getting serious. This is their first Valentine's they're Day They're taking together. it slow, but they're like, they're starting to, both of them individually are starting to think maybe... Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the one. This is that freaking Muppet. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, Bunsen yeah. Honeydew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 50 year old <laughs> Jinka Arthur is just Bunsen Honeydew. <laughs> he broke up with Beaker and he's dating Scooby Doo Gajinka. Whoa. Oh, do I see Tristan in chat? Tristan. Tristan, what do you think of this, Tristan? Hi, Tristan. Tristan. What, do you think? what do you think? What do you think? Do you accept Tell us. this? Do you accept their do you love? Accept do you him? know what this this guy is? <laughs> or do you reject? Do you say hey? Tristan hey. said, "I love turtleneck." Like, <laughs> like, Thanks, the con Tristan. like the concept of turtleneck, or like the guy with the turtleneck. Tristan, if a wizard appeared <laughs> <laughs> and offered you a turtleneck in exchange. For something he won't specify. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you this turtleneck now, but at a later date, I will ask you for something, and you must uh, give it to me. <laughs> it may not be of equal value to a no, turtleneck. It, well, it's equal value to me, but, but I might not. I've got wizard logic. Wizard so. values—they're all messed up because of magic. But just think. You get the turtleneck now. You don't know when I'm going to ask you for the other thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. So. So are, are we. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I know I'm not making it sound like a good deal. <laughs> but hear me out. Tristan did say, uh, I just saw in the chat, that um, this is Bunsen and this is Beaker. Whoa. Whoa. So Beaker became a himbo. Good for him, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Speaking of himbos, mm-hmm. I know I th- I'm I'm just gonna take a little bit of time to do my um my international traders update. Okay. Because I finished the Australia season. Okay. And I'm most of the way through the um the UK season, the one they have on on Peacock. I don't know if they've done multiple seasons, but there there is a beautiful man named Aaron on uh on the UK season. A beautiful and, Aaron, you say? Yeah. And uh, he's just... You, you see him and you think, wow, that guy that guy has such perfect bone structure. Look at the bones on Look that one. Look at the bones on that guy. <laughs> and then you hear him talk and he's I just... You want to jump his bones. He's just... He's just the, I don't know if it's the edit or what, but they he, he seems lovely. He just seems like a lovely dude. A lovely, beautiful dude? Yeah. Named Aaron? Named Aaron. I'm going to look him up. Look up beautiful Aaron. I hope he hasn't done anything <laughs> bad. But in the show, the way they make him out to Google. be in the show. beautiful Aaron. <laughs> Aaron seems lovely. Aaron Traders UK. <laughs> then he gets edited out for him. playing with props. No, that's Paul. That's Australian Paul. <laughs> oh, this dude looks like he's been mewing for sure. <laughs> show me the mew. <laughs> Did what? Oh my god. He's got a head like a brick. I don't I'm gonna He's not that for... beautiful, Nathan. Oh, He's just... We got another raid. David white. Peterson is raiding with a party no. of 43. Thank you for the wow. raid. I'm going to draw that man from memory. But he has, a, he has a beautiful soul and a beautiful spirit. He's just a white guy that's been mewing. <laughs> <laughs> when you look that good, you don't have to be as nice as he is, but he is. Oh, I see well, him. He's, he's, he's nice. crying in this picture. Yeah, he cries. Is it cute? He cries a lot. He is kind of like handsomely crying. Yeah. The first time he ever gets put up for elimination, it makes him really upset because I think it might be the first time he's ever been in a room of people who didn't like him. Is he also gay? I don't know. Is he 50? I see him kissing a man. Are is... either of them 50? Good for him. Bazinga? Is the other one Jim Parsons? <laughs> <laughs> is it Jim Parsons he's kissing? <laughs> this is be. him from memory. Yeah. This is literally just a guy. Yeah, but I, but I, he delights me. Oh, I'm glad he's nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you're, you two you're are enjoying very happy him. together. He just, he just is interested in everyone and everything. There's like an old lady on the show whose whole thing, like, she should have a podcast if she doesn't already, but she's got a great voice, and she's always, she's always given like pep talks to the audience. I came on this show because I wanted to prove that no matter how old you are, you can do it and you should do it. Oh, yeah, tell him. Um, and he's just like talking to her about the 60s. And she's like, it was a wild time. You would go to Piccadilly Circus and you didn't know what you were doing. You would just go see who was out there. <laughs> I mean, it was that's very liberating. what I do now, except I don't leave my house. It's just on the internet. I, I do. don't know what the fuck is out there, and I have seen some things and said, "Yeah, I don't know what's going on." I do like it when I go out there and I and I sort of like see what's out there in 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 the world in yeah. life. You ever just go out there? Out there? Out there? There's a window to my Living right. In the Some, sun? Somewhere out there? And you just see what's out there beneath the pale moonlight. Someone's thinking of me and loving me tonight. Stop bragging. <laughs> David Peterson, you're no an cares. Eisner award-winning graphic novelist. What? This is the person who rated us. I'm drawing this. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone asked if they were uh, yeah. some, something else, and they responded saying, Quick, show Tito Snoopy. No, we have to show our best. award-winning graphic novelist. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. How do you feel about this? How do you, feel do you about like this? this? Do you think we could get an Eisner off this? Yeah, for this. <laughs> for this. He brought his own sandwich and yeah. showed three hours late to the barbecue. <laughs> um, but yeah, the my main takeaway, and I don't know if this is a, a statement of just the general character of, of Brits versus Aussies or just the the casting direction. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Nathan. Went. 
But yeah. David Peterson, are you the person who made Mouse Guard? What the hell? Ooh. I just Googled you. <laughs> what are you doing you're, here? You're the Mouse Guard guy? I own the Mouse Guard game. That's so sick. <laughs> what oh, yeah. are you doing here? What are you here? doing here? Thank you for coming hey. here. Your art rules. Your art rules. Hey, uh, you're genuinely I was so talking good. about a show that only I watch. <laughs> 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 So, you know, but that, but that's cool. You know, we'll, we'll talk about you. Oh, can I talk about something that only I care about next? Yeah. Well, wait, we have, we have to finish talking about David Peterson first. <laughs> I just saw he can't respond. He's in slow mode. Yeah. Oh, no. Everyone's trapped in slow mode. What if we VIP him? You're, <laughs> you're all just my little play things, and I like to watch you wait. <laughs> well, you you can wait in slow mode while we compliment your good art. Yeah, yeah dude. it's good. It's good. Oh, it's David good. Peterson said I watch the UK Traders too. Hell yeah! <laughs> no. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> A man of taste and culture. <laughs> All right, so I'm talking directly to David. <laughs> okay, you do have a conversation. I'm going to sit over here. <laughs> Oh, this is the best moment of my life. It's <laughs> <laughs> a, a big day for Nathan. This is huge for me. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, so go ahead, Nathan. Talk about the oh, traders. Ju just that the that they they found like the most like <laughs> sensitive, sweet. British people in the in in all of Britland for for this show, uh, like every like the 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 vibe of the Australia show is just like we're here to play a game. We get that we're playing a game. It's like I'm not I'm not a traitor, but good on you for, for thinking I am. But I'm not. I'm telling you, no hard feelings. And then on the British show, it's like everyone is sobbing at the round table every time. <laughs> Much more emotional uh, yeah, state of like... affairs. Uh, should I be drawing? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Let me get in there. I'm going to stop thought... shaming myself by drawing this I Super think... Bowl commercial for the ending of Young Sheldon. Bazinga. Bazinga. Yeah, and then the U.S. one, they just got reality stars to be in it, and their in, their entire motivation is different. They're like not trying to win. They're just trying to go viral or whatever. David Peterson is leaving. Bye. Bye, David Bye. Peterson. Thanks Bye, for joining Peterson. us. Thank you for You're the us. most important person here ever. Thanks for the raid. Thanks for yeah, the thank raid. You. Enjoy your food and beverage. Wow. What a guy. What, what? You're no longer allowed to talk about training. I'm done. I'm done. I'm finished. <laughs> Karina, what's something only you like that you want to talk about? Um, oh, enough. <laughs> honestly, I do that literally all the time. And that's why everyone leaves mean comments about me because I'm rude. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I guess to, I'll just keep acting the way I usually do. I'm trying to pull aggro by being <laughs> rude about my own shit. But then, but then David Peterson comes in here and makes me feel like a hero. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good face. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll. Should I be rude? Everyone should be rude. So Wait, I have a thing to talk about. Okay, okay. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> You ass. <laughs> we already talked about. Okay, I mean, one of my neighbors definitely set off their fire alarm again. They're just going at it today. Is it going off? Can you hear now? No, I heard it a few minutes ago oh. while Nathan was talking about some shit. I wasn't listening, but I can smell it now. Anyway, um, my my thing is as I already told you in in our chat that I started finally watching Dungeon Meshi or Delicious oh, yeah. in Dungeon. Yeah. And as expected, um, <laughs> I have to like remember his actual name. Chill Chuck is my favorite. <laughs> I love you, adult Charles. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I loved the adult Charles meme. I guess meme tweet. Meme tweet. Tweem. This is David hmm? Tennant. This kind of is David Tennant. Yeah, they got him wet. <laughs> and now he looks like this. David Tennant jumped into the tub. He's oh, like, I'm gonna have to stop being the doctor <laughs> again. Oh, no, not again. Not again. I'll I come was back so in some sad special last time. I was Julia, in the rain. <laughs> Julia, did you go oh and then I, fiddle with that crab? I was, <laughs> <laughs> I've been like racking my brain for a thing that I could isolate myself from by talking about. Yeah. Um. <sighs> Nothing really, except I st Jacob and I started watching a show called um, um, uh, Babylon Berlin, and I'm just bringing it up to see if anyone else in America has watched that show, <laughs> because it's very much my jam so far. What is it about? I'm it's a, a nineteen. It's a adult Charles. I love it. A oh, I brought up a topic that only I knew about, and there's lag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it should be fine. It's it's, so... Our upload rate is fine. Yeah, it's green. Try, it's green. try Twitch refreshing. Twitch has not been behaving. Everyone, just try refreshing. Normalize refreshing when there's lag. Yeah, I it's do gonna smell be okay. Burning. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you think we're gonna die? <laughs> no, I mean they did this this morning too. Did so. they get it together? <laughs> 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 I'm sorry if any of my neighbors watch, but it, sm um, it smells. It doesn't smell burnt. It just smells like they're cooking. The, the reason we couldn't hot knife the Bucky is because we do have really <laughs> sensitive uh, alarms in this building, so it's pretty easy to set off. So I don't think they're burning. It just means they made a lot of smoke. Um, Babylon Berlin. Yes. yes. We got raided again. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. <laughs> Are you? Have you ever won an Eisner? Let us yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. You have to tell us. Yeah. Yeah. Before we start saying stupid shit. Did you happen to write Persepolis? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the chat. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah. I've I've been Jacob and I started Babylon Berlin because it's leaving Netflix this month, oh. and it's very much my jam. It's a uh. Uh, neo noir detective show that takes place in 1929 Berlin. Cool. Ooh. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it promises to be pretty gross at some point. Hmm. Ooh. But so far, it's been very interesting. We only watched the one epi. Yeah. But it, it was, was enough uh, to. Well, because then. Good. Then we finished the episode and Jacob was like, that was good. And then he saw that it's leaving and that there's three seasons on Netflix. And he was like, we're not going to finish this shit. Yeah, there is no way in hell. We watch shows so slow. Yeah. I only recently gamers. just actually watched animes again because I'm trying to have a better exercise routine. So that's what I put on while I bike. Oh, nice. So started Dungeon Meshy. What else have I been watching? Sign of Affection. That one's really Oh, cute. I read that one. That one's great. The anime is nice. I like the art style. The colors are really nice. It translates well, I think. I don't know why, but the the love interest in that sets off like red flags for me in the beginning. He definitely has just... I, I wouldn't call him a red flag, but I would just be like, ugh, men. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of like, oh, this deaf girl baby yeah like, oh. that i definitely get it's a combination of that and just like uh you are so uh, so whatever but it's still cute i can i can <laughs> no one discourse about this in chat i can remove myself enough I to enjoy a lot to it. enjoy the cuteness of it all yeah it's very yeah. sweet i i had my complaint um, but i did read yeah. so much of it look i don't have high tastes what else have i been watching Cherry magic. Um, oh, Cherry magic? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> what, you got a problem with that? No, I just wanted Good. to make sure I heard the <laughs> name. What, you don't, <laughs> you don't know that one? I don't know Cherry magic. <laughs> um, I only know height magic. Have y'all seen does. the, the Buchiguri? Buchiguri? No. It's like the most dumbass fucking anime. Okay. This season that I've been watching this season. 
but, but it has a lot of the same art team as Skate. Ooh, that's, that's that has great some art good art. art. Yeah, so I'm just like, okay, we in, <laughs> locking in. <laughs> so be it. It's like really fucking head empty compared to literally everything else. So I'm just like, cool, yeah. I'm down. <laughs> it's just like a dumbass fighting anime. I love dumbass fighting. And it's fighting. just the main character just like really it keeps talking about wanting to lose his virginity. Nice. And I'm like, go off, king. Nice. I, guess. I love virginity. <laughs> Yay. V's in chat. <laughs> Nathan loves losing. <laughs> I'll lose anything. Yeah. Keys, my save file, <laughs> my mind. Ooh. Oh, my mom <laughs> is texting me. Nice. Yes, mom. Yes, mom. Um, v V's in chat for virginity. Yes. Is that what's happening? Yes. Okay. We watched the first episode of The Apothecary Diaries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That one's fun. I want to watch more of that. I enjoyed it. We also watched the first episode of Vinland Saga. Ooh. Ooh yeah. I that keep seeing that one. to be upsetting. It does promise to be upsetting. It but does I, look upsetting. I am, uh, I am definitely intrigued. I've been just watching a lot of like light, fluffy shit. I've also been watching Villain's Day Off, or Mister Villain's Day Off. Mister Toad's Wild Ride. Yeah, Mister Toad's Wild Ride, <laughs> the anime, the series, and Knuckles. And no, also that. says Sk Skip and Loafer is really good. Oh uh, yeah, that, yeah, I read a bunch of that. It's, I should also watch that one. I forgot that one. Jacob and I wanted to start watching it, but we haven't yet. Yeah, I heard the anime is really good. Good, good. Turns out my mom's text message was because um, back when I lived with my parents <laughs> until like I don't know seven years ago. Um, we would watch uh, Antiques Roadshow together, and we would play this game of like trying to guess what the price of the thing would be, mm. and then you know seeing who won by the end of the night. Yeah. Um, but there was always an appraiser who wore um, wild suits. Wow. And Mr. Toad's wild suit. Oh yeah. So hold that one up to camera. Yeah, she sent me this. Let's let the people see that. Yeah, that's a plaid ass suit. That's a plaid ass suit. <laughs> Let me see. Full plaid. Yeah. So, she sent me that picture. Also, apparently, some lady had a part of a meteorite and it sold for fifteen thousand dollars. Nice. But apparently, my French grandpa also had one, but we don't know where it went. Yeah, my friend and I from um, previous broom pose stream. Okay, um, yeah. We were peeking back in on, on some of the auctions, and now that it's closer to the end date, a lot of them are starting to pop off. Mm. And they actually seem to have some rare coins that people are really fighting over. Oh. Um, so like that was kind of coins. interesting. Huh? Like? Um, I'm being purposefully vague because I don't want to out which auction house it is. Uh, okay. But like gold, you don't have to. Like, yeah, like gold coins. And Got it. You okay. know, like old historical shit. So I was like, oh shit. Cause like the, the bid prices are really high. Right. And then I was like Googling what kind of coin that was and like what it usually goes for. And yeah, it's like a $2,000 coin. Yeah. I and bought. I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> for Christmas, I bought all of my family members a uh, 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 old coin from the time period and place yeah. that interests them the most. I was telling her about that because like, I thought that was such a fun idea. <laughs> it is fun. Um, I bought my sister-in-law one from like 300 BC Sicily because her parents moved here from Sicily. Here, I will show. Mm -hmm. Sorry if I hit you, by the way. Oh, no worries. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was just, we were like talking about it because we we're just like, oh my God, why do you think they're so expensive? And I'm like, honestly, like coin collectors, like you can't be a casual about that. Yeah. You're, you're I, like- I'm you're, the casual. <laughs> yeah, you can be a casual coin collector, but you're, you know, you're not going to get any of the rare shit that way. You have yeah. to be, my dad was a casual coin collector. <laughs> I'm just, but yeah, once you're in it, you're in it forever. <laughs> For deeps. The wild thing is that the 300 BC Sicily coin, I bought it for like $20. Nice. It was wild. That's wild. Something so old. Yeah. And yet, 
Very affordable. <laughs> yeah. Like, really weird. <laughs> what happened to that guy? He died. I was going to draw more characters, and then I realized I don't feel like it. Nice. That's fair. I love you, adult Charles. I'm just going to leave it. Imagine he's being bothered by Lyos and, yeah. and Marcel. <laughs> I'm imagining them in but my But I don't mind. feel like drawing them, so you just have to imagine it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was walking up behind him and got, like, freaking exploded. He got dungeoned. He got dungeoned. <laughs> All right, Wonderful. bye. Bye. Is it me? Easy. Bye. See you guys later. Bye. 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 Oh, what's up, everybody? It's me, Nathan. Um, what would you like for me to draw? What would you like for Nathan to draw? Everyone, stop saying bye. He's done, already gone. When you're, when it's out of your system. Get the buys out. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Only right. Nathan is left. <laughs> Have fun finishing the stream by yourself. <laughs> Straight Nathan. <laughs> oh, Asterian. Got a Gajinka him. Oh, okay. Got a Gajinka Asterian. <laughs> I do have to draw an Asterian, don't I? You don't. Someone in all caps just wrote Dinosaur. Asterian dinosaur? It's well, like a maybe Gajinka dinosaur. What if you I can assign turn you a dinosaur into a dinosaur? What if I assign you a dinosaur and you draw them as a person? How does that sound? But I want to draw a dinosaur. If you decide me a dinosaur and I have to draw something that isn't a dinosaur, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> She's doing it. What a oh god! I don't know. I, I can't even pronounce these. What what about a Pacificosaurus? Can I see it? Yeah, it's the middle one. Oh! What's he do? What's happening to him? He's <laughs> having know. like a really angry fart. I can give you a different one. No, no, no. I like that one. Okay. He's going like. He's sort of going like. Um, He's got like sort of a turtle mouth going like mm. I'm going to look him up. Pacit Pacitacosaurus. Oh, he's really silly. He's got hands made for moving boxes and that's it. This smell reminds me, so again, I lived with my parents for uh, a very long time. The like food smell. The, yeah. <laughs> just well, to, just okay. to catch people up on chat, my yeah. neighbor is cooking. Um, <laughs> so my dad. <laughs> it's a normal smell. <laughs> I live in a nice apartment. <laughs> <laughs> so my dad has, um, uh, he has ADHD. As as you know, the second you meet him, <laughs> um, he's wonderful. I love him. Um, I was in my room and my parents, I hear like the increasing thuds of people running to my bedroom door and my door getting thrown open and my dad trying to shove my mom out of my way, out of his way. And my mom's trying to shove her way into my bedroom and she just goes, your dad put the pizza in the oven. And left the house. <laughs> <laughs> and he just your, like. What was your dad trying to? He do? was trying he was to get trying, her. He was trying from, to control the narrative. Get, yeah, get <laughs> yeah, yeah. He kept saying that she was lying, uh, and they were laughing a lot. But I went to go look at the pizza, and it was jet black. Oy. <laughs> it was like he basically what happened was that he put the pizza in the oven and at, <laughs> at five hundred degrees for some reason. Oh, hell, hell. And he went outside to talk to my neighbors. <laughs> and got caught up. And got caught up and was just like out there for an hour. Uh there was another time and then the next weekend he, he was reheating <laughs> lunch and he took all the things out of the Tupperware and he went to go put it in the frying pan, but he turned on the wrong burner and he turned on the burner that was under the Tupperware, which has that like burning plastic smell. Yeah. So again, I hear the ever increasing <laughs> like running of feet and he throws open the door and before my mom opens her mouth, he goes, she's lying, she's lying. <laughs> 
So we had to leave the house for a while because apparently that's toxic when you burn Tupperware. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it was pretty funny. <laughs> My dad um, did that with bacon grease one time. Oh, no. Yay. He forgot to turn the burner off after he took the bacon out of the pan and then the bacon grease caught fire. No. And this um, then made way for a large misunderstanding with my mom that um, has frustrated me to no end whenever I go visit them. And if I cook anything, uh -huh. I will put a pan on the burner, Yeah, turn the burner on to begin heating the pan to prepare for cooking. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you need to put something in that pan or else it's going to catch fire. And I'm like, how's it going to catch fire if there's nothing in it? Yeah, nothing to burn. And she's like, that's what happened with your dad. He left the empty pan on the burner and it caught fire. And I'm like, no, that pan had bacon grease in it. And that's why it caught fire. <laughs> and then a couple minutes go by. Not a couple minutes, but 30 seconds go by. And she's like, <laughs> have you put something in that pan yet? I really don't want it to catch fire. And I'm like, it's not going to catch fire. It's an empty pan. <laughs> it's just getting warm before I put the oil in it. Yeah. <laughs> And I had to have this whole argument with her over and over again. Every, every time. Every time. I want to tell you something about the Pasitikosaurus. Mm -hmm. Pasitikosaurus. And I think this is fun. It is the, the height of it. It only goes up to like what would be uh, someone's knee. It's Neopet size. It's really small. I challenged Nathan to draw a dinosaur as a person. Oh. And I rolled a random dino and I got this thing called a Pasitikosaurus. Pasitikosaurus. Um, cause he, he, and he made me laugh, so. And I drew it, you can see. <laughs> Why does it look like that? Uh, yeah, look at him. He's pathetic. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, I can draw a little other pose you did. It was really good, too. My only oven story is that one time when I was in college in the dorm that had the communal kitchen and it was in the basement of the building oh no um like it was a big kind of like rec room area and then there was a communal kitchen in the back mm -hmm. and some poor art student like put a yam on a tray and popped it in the oven and uh -oh. then passed out oh no <laughs> from exhaustion presumably and burnt the entire thing and it filled the entire basement with smoke <laughs> oh no and i was like love well that. this isn't my problem <laughs> i live on the 20th floor and also i'm leaving so the 20th floor <laughs> yeah damn y'all had 20 floors yeah it was uh manhattan <laughs> yeah i was about to say fit's uh senior dorms are i do think at least two floors of that building might have been shared with I don't actually. I don't know if it was shared with FIT. It was shared with other colleges, though. My um, dorm had three floors. I mean, the dorm, my freshman dorm, had probably twenty. My sophomore and junior had six, which was normal. <laughs> I guess I was in a freshman high rise at college as well, so mine probably had yeah something like that. But I mean, this was <clears throat> fucking Manhattan. Seven of us in a suite room, <laughs> which you, everyone loved. How do you do a horizontal flip in a freaking this, this, uh, in this game? In this game? Transform? Um, I have it routed to this little pencil line. Oop. Yeah. All right. How if we you... have the navigator app, you could also do it on the view, but okay, okay. we don't. It's also an edit, transform, flip horizontal. Edit, transform. It. As I recall, only know how to draw him from this angle because this is the angle. Who's him? Asterian. Asterian. I can oh. tell by his fruity expression and the and the vampire teeth. Asterian. I mean, I just assumed those were regular dinosaur teeth, but yeah, that's true. <laughs> Dinosterian. <clears throat> Dinosterian. Any FIT people in the house that can tell me how many floors the Kaufman building is? FIT in the house! It's many. It can fit 1,100 students, apparently. 
It's a lot of students. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking New York City dorms are cursed. Yeah, I imagine they got to be kind of crazy. For some reason, I just had a, a random memory. Oh, memory unlocked. Memory unlocked. I was thinking about, because um, I went to, to University of Georgia. It's a very, um, there's a lot of fraternities there. And they're like fraternities in the way you would imagine them from like movies and stuff. <laughs> like very like preppy dudes Whoa. all wearing like the cargo shorts and pink polos and all that stuff. And I remember this one time I went to this one Halloween party. Not at a fraternity, but just at someone's house. Uh huh. And there was a dude there who was like not dressed up, but he was wearing like a really sick outfit. And so I went up and I was like, like, hey, I love your outfit. That's like really cool. And he was like, oh, thanks. I'm uh, dressed as a hipster for Halloween. Damn. And I was like, oh, but you're just wearing a cool outfit. He's like, yeah, normally I am in a fraternity, so I wear like. Normally I dress like ass. I wear a yeah. pink polo and 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 little shorts. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you should just yeah. dress like this all the time. <laughs> you've you've chosen wrong. I was just so disappointed. <laughs> you thought you'd found someone. You thought you'd found a fellow hipster. I just yeah. thought I'd, he was... I just thought I found a dude in a cool outfit. But it turns out he was it wearing was... it as a joke. <laughs> you should have told him not to appropriate your culture. <laughs> <laughs> I had like <laughs> Jacob. Someone in the chat said uh, University of Georgia mentioned dog. Dog. They dog. just wrote dog. Let the big dog eat. That's Let what I had to eat. say. And then someone else said that they went to tech. Boo, I think. Yeah, you guys are we rivals, don't, right? We don't like you. Boo, <laughs> boo <laughs> you. You I stop guess. that. I mean, it's sort of a rivalry where they just sort of like lose <laughs> every time. Damn. <laughs> and so it's kind of a one sided rivalry. Someone said they went to Emory. That's where. One of Jacob's friends works. Emery all alone in the moonlight. Emery <laughs> all alone in the moonlight. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for backing me up on that one, guys. Really You're welcome. It. Did you have a story, Nathan? I'm sorry. I think I cut you oh, off. Oh no, at the I just you, you reminded story. me because at Maryland there was there was obviously like a, a pretty pretty large uh, Greek life community there, but it was like. A big enough school that there was also a pretty sizable hipster community, and I was much more adjacent to that one. I've, you know, you know, you you see how I dress, so mm -hmm. I've never, I've never been a fashion, <laughs> a fashion person. But I remember for Halloween, uh, I was I was at a a friend's party, and uh one of one of the hipster friends of this friend was at their costume was just a different one of their friends so they were just like dressed in that person's clothes and i was just like okay that's not much of a costume yeah really mm -hmm. i was like is is one hipster dressed mm -hmm. like I a guess different technically hipster? but okay <laughs> I saw someone in chat ask if there was an SVA FIT rivalry. Hmm. We don't, don't have time so. for such frivolous yeah. shit. We are yeah. dying. <laughs> if anything, if, it's art school. <laughs> if FIT had a rivalry with anyone, it would probably be Parsons, but only the fashion departments. Jim Parsons? <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> We've gone back. Bazinga. We, found it. <laughs> we gotta go back, Bazinga. <laughs> we gotta go back, Bazinga. I'm just like, if SVA had rivalries, it would just be within SVA. Yeah. The yeah. departments were so separated that that's where the rivalries were. were, were yeah, were. and then all the controversies that came out of SVA after. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yay! Yeah, FIT is kind of the same. Apparently, FIT is like destroying itself right now, which awesome. sucks. That's what I heard from. I When we were at uh, I think it was at Anime NYC. Some very, very nice, uh, some lovely FIT graduates came over to talk to me because um, they knew the channel and they liked the channel and they watched the channel and they also went to FIT. So they like came over to talk to me about 
the school and they were giving me updates on all the stuff that's happening there. <sighs> art departments, figure it out. Yeah, it's just... I don't know, like, what is going on with all these art schools? Like, focus on teaching art. Yeah, just be fucking normal. Apparently, that got, they got rid of um, uh, figure drawing class. Completely? Huh. I think so. That's, that's what one of them was telling you know, me. It's a pretty important one. That's right. Yeah. You don't really need that. That's, yeah. Who needs fundamentals? Yeah. Like, needs I don't foundation. know. I don't know if that's true, but I'm assuming they wanted to lie to me. That's wild. It's so frustrating. Meh. Meh. I, I, just, don't, I don't know what Marilyn's doing. As much as I want to... They'll send me fundraising emails. Offer. <laughs> Boom, like me, you're a for-profit school, get out my ass. <laughs> and just like, as much as I want to support uh, current students looking to go to art school and enter art professions, I'm just like, I don't know about this stuff. More and more, I'm just, like, go I'm YouTube. Just like, I don't want to... <laughs> Well, it's true. It's the sign up for draw class. <laughs> we have a lot available on Draw Fee Extra. <laughs> yeah, on, the, on the live tab, you have to go over to the live tab because yeah. they made it hard to realize for so long. <laughs> but yeah, because I'm just like, I don't want to crush anyone's dreams. But art school is so expensive, and yeah. you know, I'm I don't regret going to art school because I didn't have to take out any student loans. Luckily, yeah. so I didn't have that you. financial burden. I was on scholarship and my parents helped pay for my education. Yeah. It's an important factor in why I was able to do it. Yeah. And I just do better in a structured environment when it comes to my education. So I was lucky I was able to do that. Very privileged. I wouldn't recommend it to people who maybe weren't in that same yeah. position. I think like I went That's to FIT because it was it's a lot. <laughs> it was I commuted so I didn't have to pay for dorming which was a lot of money so my year my first year at FIT cost me $3,000 nice and then my second year was $3,000 and then the bachelor years were 4000 each so that's why I went to FIT was because it was cheap as heck um, but it, like and like Karina said I also do better with like a structured class yeah. so I wanted to go to art school but um, I don't know. It's like, it's, ugh. yeah, it's just really frustrating. Someone says for most majors, most schools are most valuable for networking. That's definitely also something yeah. to consider, for, especially for art school. But the, I, I've, I got one job just because of the people I met and, you know, where I went to school, which was a great lucky thing, like very grateful for that, but also... It wasn't the part of the path that led me here, per se. That I kind of got on my own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. It's just a lot of money. It's just a lot of money, and it's hard. It is a lot of money. I was going to say something about art school. What the hell was it? Also, if you're a person like me, it probably wouldn't be the best environment for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, it's very dependent on what kind of shit you need in order to like do well because i can only learn i can only work on things and learn things if i'm working on like a project that i'm personally invested in that's and what i was going to bring up sorry it's on it's on my brain you, go, can, you go. can finish no that go. was pretty no, much the end okay statement. the this is only like kind of related um but nathan was saying earlier that the only emails he gets are to ask for money um, FIT did this wild thing to me where they have like this alumni program that I don't know if it's like a legit thing now, but when I was there, they were like, you can come in and use the school's facilities if you need, you can print stuff at the library, like you'll be able to get in with this card. And then a friend of mine signed up for like the alumni program and could not get into the school, <laughs> was not allowed. So they were just paying money for nothing. Nice. And then that's awesome. I got contacted a couple of years ago now. Jacob remembers. I kept getting letters from FIT and FIT. I don't know what has happened. FIT has celebrated like every achievement of everyone in my year. If they did anything art related, they have never mentioned me once, which is very funny to me. Um, they're scared. They're scared. <laughs> they're scared. <laughs> they're scared. 
It would um, make all of the other students look bad by comparison. <laughs> they just like, like everything. They're like, congrats to blah, blah, blah for, uh, you know, doing this thing. They and got a drawing on the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like cool, but it's also just like kind of weird that they've just like dropped me. Um, but then I started getting letters that was like, hey, you know, we would love to talk to you about where you've been in illustration where and blah, been? blah, blah. So they were like give us a call we would love to talk and i was like all right like <laughs> there, there was something else in the letters they sent and they kept yeah. sending them so i called them back um it was <laughs> it was a con to get recordings of people talking about how good their time at fit uh, was to oh, play at they, their museum they did a their trip. museum yeah fit has a fashion museum that's actually really good Wait, but I they were doing an exhibit you. i've been in an sva <laughs> <laughs> but was it because they tricked you <laughs> um they didn't trick me they did explicitly tell me what it was and i oh. was paid a uh, dollar yeah. Amazon gift card. I was, <laughs> I was not I paid. Hate it here. Instead, instead, what the school did was, <laughs> hey, after that recording, they brought in a live person that said, hey, we're gonna use that in our school's uh, museum. Uh, also, would you like to pay for the alumni yearbook, which is a record of like contributed blah 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 and I, like it was such a scam and they were like it'll be a hundred and fifty dollars and but like the wording was super weird and it was like four payments of a hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> and they were like it also comes with a tote bag and i was like <laughs> fuck your tote what bag. are you Yo, talking tote about bag. well i bet after this they'll they'll definitely want to highlight you <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> then i went stuff. to facebook like the first time i'd used facebook in years and it was all of my friends that were like previous alumni who also had like started falling off of facebook coming back to be like did anybody else get this that's awesome i hate it here <laughs> yeah it phenomenal. I, I don't i i enjoyed and got a lot and don't regret my time in art college but yeah i don't really stand up for the overall institution of for-profit art school yeah it sucks i hate it it's so expensive in the in the age of the internet just you can learn the same shit online for cheaper if not free yeah. It just takes more, you know, structuring yourself, unfortunately. You can also... So, I don't take... donate shit to my college. I give all my donations to my high school that I respect way more and needs it more like than it. a yeah. fucking for-profit college. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> you can also take art classes in college, even if it's not art school, you know? Yeah. That's true. And you can just find so them, did. like, locally. Cities have art scenes, and yeah. art scenes have societies. That I also probably... Sort of I would have probably donated to FIT had they not been so weird about it for years. Yeah. It's just baffling. Like, you just made me dislike you because also your, like, weird alumni card program was crap. <laughs> it was a lie. Alum lie, more like. Damn. Nathan. I'm done. That's so Put that on a bumper sticker. Funny. I'm done drawing. Does anyone want to I like for... Dino Starian. For can, 10 minutes. I can draw for 10 minutes, I there guess. There you go. Easy, 10 easy. minutes, Karina. Me. Hey, Nathan. Anyway, that's the serious talk for now. Yeah, now everyone shut bottle. up and become stupid again. When you get a plastic oh. water bottle. Uh, it's yeah, uh, Julia asked me to hand it to her. Thank oh, you. sorry, sorry, sorry. Plastic water bottle. <laughs> And a paper towel. What should I draw for ten minutes? For ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutos. Minutos. Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> it might be Herlock Sholmes. Herlock knows Sholmes. <laughs> Baby Garfield. Baby Garfield. Walking down the street. A plastic bag. Baby, Baby Garfield. Garfield. Kajinka. Tito Fursona, like Tito Snoopy Fursona. What the hell? Yo, I got you. <laughs> We're too Tito deep. Snoopy Fursona. We're too many layers deep. It doesn't mean anything anymore. It this doesn't like just turn back into Snoopy. It's its own thing now. This does feel like a fun challenge where we take like an existing cartoon character, like the uh, telephone that we yeah, played. Yeah, where we did we did Fursona telephone with an original character, but we yeah. could start with an extant character. Aw, if you're not going to let me just draw Snoopy, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> 
draw Snoopy. I'm gonna draw Snoopy. Draw Snoopy. I'm talking about like an episode, you know, and we then should like do that again. That was fun. That was second fun. person who comes in has to make a cartoon character out of the Gajinka. Dress yeah, that is it. fun. Yeah, thank you, Drag. Telephone. We should start just like redoing episodes that we haven't done since 2020. Yeah, I yeah, agree. True. I agree with you. I agree. I Frankly, I agree with you. Shaped like this. What the hell? Snappy. Snippy dippy. Snippy dippy. Snippy dippy. Snip and dip the strip. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you have such a long head. He's a dog. Yeah, he's kind of a dog. It's like when the baby just came out and hasn't the bones haven't quite settled. Yeah. <laughs> Pinched off a little. Got them liquid bones. Someone said anime history. I do want to do more of those. It's yeah. been a long time. Yeah. They made a Bash Reeve show. That one they is did. fun. It just it just also includes homework. Yeah, yeah it is a little bit more effort. But I'd we like, could do it. I'd like to do one with like a guest historian <gasps> who assigns us the characters. A guest historian. And like gives us the 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 key points. Yeah, so and that I don't have to do the work, but yeah. we'll still do the drawing. Yeah, and then it's it's a nice curated list of people as well. From, mm. from someone from a, a trusted source. Mm. This is a very bootleg snappy. That's fine. I like him. <laughs> He's got Moxie. I've given up on making Snoopy on model. We're getting snappy. Moxie? Is that the one where uh, the attack goes up every time you, uh, you knock out? <laughs> There's so many people who are suggesting like YouTuber historians, and then someone said, "My mom's a historian." I Yo, get idea. that person's mom in here. <laughs> Honestly, it was just really, it was really cute, actually. Okay, dude. This is why we need the. <laughs> oh, I'm sick of roasting me. <laughs> this is why we need the two million creep to be crept. So that we can start getting some big names. <laughs> I'm going to put so much energy into the two million creep. What does that mean, Juliet? Well, you know, what are you okay. Do? Okay. I'm going Here's to the kill thing. the two million creep. <laughs> you see the energy? It's going it's into It's going it. up. I'm putting. It's going up and in. The energy's into it. Okay. Get, get Germa. <laughs> can we? Is Germa? He's retired now. What else is he doing? Yeah, he's got. He doesn't have an plenty excuse. Plenty of free time. He doesn't have an excuse. Who? It's who knows? Germa's fault that Ansta left her entire winter coat here, and I had to mail it to her. So he owes us. Yeah, he owes, he us. owes us. He who owes knows? me the cost of mailing that coat. Who knows Germa's people? Who can get us in touch? Don't act. Don't actually. Yeah. Show us. Show him this. <laughs> don't. <laughs> yeah, you can show him. This. Show him this and see what he see what he show, says. Show him this Snoopy and see see what he says. <laughs> Just see what he says. Just see what he says. Wait, I wanted to hear Julia. Did you have a plan? A two million plan? So much energy. Other than energy. Well, it's just I'm riding. Okay. 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 She's clapping. Thank you, Karina. <laughs> <laughs> so recently, fairly recently, uh -huh. Jacob and I hit a, a hundred thousand subscribers on the Secret Sleepover VOD channel. Congrats! Mm. Thank you. Everyone should subscribe to that if you're not already. This is good. We're stuff. on that two hundred thousand creep. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Every Sunday we're playing Bloodborne now, by the way. So if you nice. like that or you want to see that, you can watch me play uh, Bloodborne for the first time. Bloodborne. 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 I just defeated Gascoigne. Gascoigne. Four attempts. Um, Talk about a rare coin. Nathan! Like talk. <laughs> 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 Hi, Julia, please. Yeah, go ahead. Are we sure? <laughs> go ahead. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to know how we're going to get to that two million. Whenever you're ready. Well, I just... <laughs> Everyone unsubscribe. Fuck it. Yeah, Achieve actually, destruction. fuck the two million creep. I want the zero creep. <laughs> the zero slide. <laughs> you know, actually. <laughs> okay, everybody shut up. Yeah, yeah. Julia. What? Spotlight's on you. Why? Because you know how we're going to get to two million. <laughs> I, you know, I'm just, I'm going to come up, I'm going to come up with the plan. Oh, okay. Oh, so you don't have the plan yet. No, I'm All just, that to say I don't have a plan. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to come up with goals. I'm going to come up with things that we can do when we hit certain milestones. We don't have many milestones between here and there. We got every one subscriber is a milestone, <laughs> yeah. really. A million point nine. A million point nine five. Two million. We're going to be doing That's stretch it. goals. We're going Three to be doing million. stretches. Listen, if YouTube won't pay the bucks, we got to get people subscribing as much as possible and, and supporting the Patreon. We got to get the people in. Okay? You got to like. You got to subscribe. You got to tell your friends. You got to tell your friends to like and subscribe. I just want to say to chat, don't worry, we're not going to let Julia add this to her list of jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry about um, it. She can say this, but she literally can't. does not have the physical time <laughs> she, she can't do to yeah, do it. Not it's enough not time possible. exists. I think this is going to scare Germa. <laughs> those ones are extra don't don't worry about those germa yeah don't don't worry about it no i should write in all caps so it's easier to yeah read. yeah yeah, yeah. It easier yes on trophy Show him this. Show him this. Show him this. Just He'll love it. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Take a load. Have a load of this. this. But then, like, imagine if Germa sees this, and then he's like, I should reach out and guest on Droppy, and then he shows up and realizes that none of us have watched any of his fucking shit, and we don't I've know anything his about shit. him. I've watched shit. and I watched his shit for almost 12 human hours. You know the most, then, by far, of any of us. I fell asleep. <laughs> I've maybe seen, like, two clips. I saw him in my dream. All hey. I know is he's a guy. That's hey, all I he, know. If he, if he reaches out, I will. I'll marathon his shit. All <laughs> You're of gonna it. say I'll marry him. I'll, I'll marry him. <laughs> Wait, is he? Is he the one that says "granddad"? No, no that's no. Joel. No, dang. I my, mean, he might say my granddad. My game theory is that Germa is like an American Joel, though. Oh. What's Joel? American, American Joel. <laughs> He's like Swedish. Get away oh. from me. I don't know who Joel is either. Should we do He's a the recap? One that says granddad. Granddad. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a Swedish Germa. Uh, okay, got it, got it. Who says granddad? Like, uh, do you want to draw a porfo oh, and then right. we'll we'll go through? We'll do a recap. He's the one who says Flintstones. Flintstones. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Flintstones. <laughs> oh, dad. Is he also the one who says Aga? Yeah. Yeah, he's also the one who he says Aga. Aga. That's great. He There's a good goal. Just full of good stuff, that guy. Huh? At two million, I'll take a day off. Yay! <laughs> don't you want that, chat? Yeah, don't you want me to have a day She's off? She's not going to do chat, it. Chat, you were <laughs> hurting <laughs> her. Don't tell them that. <laughs> She's let lying. Them think, let them think it. She what you gonna you gonna that. tell them you're not gonna actually fight a sheep at two million either? I'm gonna fight a sheep. That's the spirit. But I might do it in private. <laughs> <laughs> Please let me fight my sheep in private. We all have our sheeps to fight mm -hmm. in our own lives. Yeah. Okay. 
please a recap a, please a recap. mug mr bird's <laughs> shirtless <laughs> mug <laughs> this. remember this courage, courage gajinka remember this <laughs> tito, tito soupy <laughs> Um, this is a sketch. He also kind of looks like the critic. Remember this? Oh, yeah. Legoshi. Big, Lug beautiful eyes. Big, beautiful eyes. Blah, blah, blah. Eyes. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, remember this? <laughs> They're 50 <Wow>. and gay. <laughs> and also Scooby-Doo and Arthur. <laughs> and also Scooby-Doo and Arthur. <laughs> um, this. <laughs> I don't think anyone told you to draw this. It just no. kind of happened. This looks no, like we were... Mitt Romney. <laughs> Th you drew this while we were all talking to um, <laughs> David uh, Peterson. David Peterson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then he left. And then I was like, what am I doing with my life? I'm sitting here, David Peterson's watching me draw this fucking knockoff young Sheldon. Was he, was he saying Bazinga to you before you got your haircut? In the drawing? That's wild. What a story. This is David Tennant when he realizes Tennant he can't be the, the doctor yeah. anymore. He's he, also wet. Who is he talking to? I don't know. It's a girl in the commercial. This, this is oh, Adult Charles. This is Adult Charles. From Dungeon Meshi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> remember it's this? It's like a scene where like one of them is further away <laughs> screaming. They're, Help! They're brothers. <laughs> Brother, my brother. Also, someone in the chat kept putting in all caps, THE P IS SILENT! I know, it's just so funny. Which P? What P? In the name of this dinosaur. Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl? Pterodactyl. Potassium? Potassium. That's not how you say it. Potassium. Potassium? You sound stupid. <laughs> it's just tassium. <laughs> Remember this? Dinosterian. Posterian? <laughs> Dino DNA. It is a really good Dinosterian. We yeah. didn't talk about it, but yeah, this is fantastic. Yeah, that's him. And then... Germa. <laughs> this loose threat. This is what it's gets Germa on, and then it's... Germa gets us to two million. Yeah. And that's how we win. Yeah. This is how I win. This is how I win. You know, some people have like five million subscribers. That's you ever think about that? Baffling. We're never going to get there. No. I guess that's okay. You make niche content. Yeah. That's right. Different. We're, we're true artists. <laughs> We're not making it for the the numbers. We're making it for the love. I just what don't. Love? I just don't know how to do anything. Else. <laughs> <laughs> it's all I know is draw Snoopy. It's your fault. And go with this for me trying to it. riz up Germa. Please, please. please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna rattle these off real fast. Yes. Jacob and I stream on Secret Sleepover Society Wednesdays and Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Nathan streams on Nathan's other show at a cadence that I don't understand. Karina it's also streams sometimes. Whenever I, I feel like it. I should be streaming with Jonah tomorrow at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern uh, as long as his sound doesn't fuck up again. Ooh, other announcements. I could read you when my stream ends. Wednesday, <laughs> we're having a clearance sale. Yes, happy Valentine's Day. We're having store. a clearance sale at <laughs> the, the store on a Wednesday night. Buy, buy, buy. <laughs> <laughs> please buy please, yourself please. some merch. We're going to the moon. We're going to the moon. <laughs> This Friday, we got the Patreon bonus stream. That is a bonus stream that you only get if you are a patron. <laughs> but you can watch the VODs. Of so the become VOD. a patron. <laughs> Saturday, we have a, we're going to be on Project for Awesome. Yes, at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, we will be drawing with Hank Green. Uh, come support us, uh, support a charity that is good, that is very good. They're doing good work. And then it's for awesome. It's for awesome. It's for awesome. And then we're going to be doing our usual Monday night streams. And then Friday, that, not this upcoming Friday, the next one the is draw class one. with Nathan and Jacob. Yeah. It's a guided practice. Guy, so, guy did practice. It's a guy. Guys. guys did practice. Guys, guys and now they're going to do practice with you. <laughs> guys did practice. <laughs> um, and then we have our bonus charity stream. On the uh, 24th. 24th. On the 24th, starting at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. 
Uh, probably going for three hours. Yeah, three to yeah, six. Yeah, I believe three yeah. hours for yeah. the Palestine Children's Relief Fund. Yes. Yeah. So tune in to help us raise money for that. We're going to be doing a big wheel of drawing challenges that Ooh. I'm going to craft up yeah. ahead of time. Bigger yes. than ever. Bigger than ever. I, this is Wheel what I promised. Bigger than ever. Yes. Drawing challenge ever. Yes. Big challenges. Uh, you can find Big. that stream on this Twitch channel. The Project for Awesome will be on the other... on. You can go channel. find their information on Twitter and all that. I, don't, yes. I can't remember what the website's called. Um... That's it. That's, That's all it. the streams that are happening this month. That's it. There's so many bonus it's streams. It's a big one for streams. There's a Friday. There's, there's so a Saturday. Many. There's a Friday. There's a Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> and more. And more. more. And we still got videos on YouTube. All Every one of them tomorrow, Tuesday. in fact. Oh, my. And Thursday. I can't wait to see what it is. <laughs> I also say? don't know what it is. What? No say? joke. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That's it. Bye. We're Thanks sorry. for watching. Bye. Subscribe. Bye. Love YouTube. you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye.